Hi guys, welcome back to Chess the Matthew. So on this video, I will show you on how to win in just 14 moves with the opening of Van Kroge's opening. So the set opening starts with the move e3 and here my opponent plays the move e5 which is theoretically controlling the center and with an idea also to push spawn to e4 because here in this position my pawn is on the e3 and for example after my opponent plays that move and then he will control a lot of squares on my comp so I didn't allow that pawn push and I stopped it with the move e4 so here my opponent tries to gambit here some pawns so that for example after he move with f5 and I capture that immediately with it is f5 then he can now have some rapid development with the move net f6 and here for example after I move the g4 trying to attack his uh, knight on the g5 square but still he goes for his idea which is to play the move bishop to c5 uh, trying to complete his development on the king side and after for example he's now ready to castle also on the next move but I disrupt that idea with the move g5 to attack his knight with my pawn and then here he immediately hop his knight to e4 square in which it gives some ideas that after knight e4 then there is a fork on f2 because the f2 was supported with his bishop on c5 and after that also the black can now castle on the king side and give some strong attack on the f file with also an attacking chances in the future but here I disrupt that idea again with the move queen to h5 giving a check to the king so here it is up to the black whether he will cover the check with his pawn or he goes for the another option which is to have some king move but after the king move then he will lose now his right to castle and after I play the queen h5 and successfully cut his right to castle of black again I start to attack his c5 bishop with the move d4 in which hoping that the diagonal will be black for this bishop and stop any uh, attack on the f2 but here still he just capture with his bishop logically and after bishop takes d4 we shall see that still there is an attack on the f2 with his knight and bishop with only one defender which is the king and here I think for a while and I was actually uh, trying to defend my f2 but it's a little bit passive for me so again I start an attack here with the move bishop to g2 attacking his knight because for example if uh, the bishop will capture on the f2 then after my king move then his pieces will be defenseless for example after this capture then I will just uh, sidestep my king and still there is an attack both his pieces with the knight and uh, his bishop so here he goes for another capture which started the move knight takes f2 and attacking my impression rook on h1 but it doesn't bother for me because I have another attack with the move bishop to d5 threatening to checkmate it in one with my queen and bishop for example in this position here he tries to defend that hitting threat with queen to e1 giving some defense on the f7 square and also attacking my queen and here I tries to give some attack his king with the move g6 because for example if he will capture that pawn with his h7 then he will lose his rook but here after g6 he just played the move h6 I think for a while and tries to have some attack again on the king side because here in this position my rook is still on the present on h1 and sooner or later the block will capture my rook and lose the piece in this position but here after h6 I see some checkmate ideas after h6 because here for example if my opponent capture this pawn then still there is just b7 and again I can win his rook on h8 and here instead of capturing my f6 he goes first for a capture on the h1 and here again I start an attack with the move bishop takes h6 and we shall see in this position that it is likely a clever move because for example it's my idea I was hoping that he will capture my bishop with the pawn and give some checkmate on the dark skin but here still he fight for this game and sacrifices rook but still it doesn't change any 
ultimating ideas in this position because still I sacrifice my queen and giving some checkmate in one on the h8 and here after g takes h6 I made the black king with the pawn with g7 checkmate it is now checkmate because the king can no longer escape the check and he cannot cover and also he cannot capture the chicken pieces because it was supported by my pawn so it is checkmate in just 40 minutes so just a recap in Van Cruz just opening I win in just 14 moves with the move 1, e3, e5 Thirteen and fourteen. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe.